Hi, I'm Sam Johnson, and I'm a voice teacher. Hey guys, my name is Barcinelia. And we are going to be reacting to and analyzing EXO doing The Wolf in Japan. So, Barcinelia, he's a really good singer and dancer and YouTuber and just a nice dude. So I thought it would be cool to have both of our opinions on kind of what they're doing. And we can give you just both of our experiences with it. So, here we go. So, what are your thoughts on how he just sang that? Uh, I personally think that um, the one of the ama most amazing things I've realized about EXO is like when they're doing like all these like really tough choreographies or e even like the, the dancing. It's crazy that they're still able to maintain their um, control of breath and still able to sing properly. Because most of the time, when I, from my experience, when mm -hmm. I start to lose breath and you know when I move around or dance around and stuff, I start to it starts to, for me, it starts to get really hard to sustain notes. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because if you lose your breath, which you do if you're moving around too much and you start breathing really heavy, then you can't get a solid stream of air going forward. Oh, yeah. What he did right there, though, as he went higher, his mouth got really wide, right? Mm -hmm. That's so that he can hold on to that feeling that was working for his low notes higher. Like, as you go higher, sometimes you just feel like you need to start opening your mouth, right? Yeah. Yeah, so if he was to change his vowel a little bit, I think it would make it a little bit easier if he narrowed it. But again, it is impressive, like you said, that they're able to maintain this level of vocal performance while they're doing all of this dancing. I think that's super cool. Yeah. Not a ton of like traditional singing yet though, just a look few lines. Yeah, that's a really cool image. It's a tree, yeah. It's a tree that looks like it. Yeah. No, that's dope. Everyone dances, not just dancers. Everyone dances. That's way cool. <laughs> nice handwork. Yeah.
so intense on yeah. his face. <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of interesting going yeah. back and forth between those two. So like the first guy, um, who was it? Chen, right? Yeah. yeah. Chen was was really light with his yeah. high stuff. It wasn't pushing into it. And then mm -hmm. seeing this next singer, it's a much it's a right? huge change. Yeah, 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 exactly. So what did you hear between the two? Just listening to those two. Um, I think they they both have like a different tone in their voices. So I think they mm -hmm. that's the thing about I like it, That's why you can never really come like I would say like hardcore like try to get in a battle between like who, who's better between these For two sure. because like they I feel like you can only get better with yourself when it comparing from yourself from back then till now and like Absolutely. I think they have two different tones and they can do different things that's why they're in a group you know right 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 to get the best of all of their worlds yeah yeah I, I will say this next way the way that he attacked it was much more aggressive mm -hmm. and it was a much more full sound I think that doing that is a little bit harder uh, it's it's just harder to sing loud and yeah, high yeah. and huge all the time. It, it's a little bit more wearing. I think that the way that uh, Chen sang it before, that little lighter place, is going to be a little bit more sustainable. And especially after all of this dancing, you know, to find something that's really easy coming into it. Nice little runs. It's it's that strain that you you can you can see that it's not easy what he's doing up there. I I do think if you just let it move up into his head a little bit, mm -hmm. it's a slightly different feeling. But he, I've heard him do it before. Like that's the thing. I think that they're just told so often that they have to sound huge and almost to the point of yelling, just so that they can get this effect. I don't know. Have you noticed that with some of these um, guys? I've actually experienced it. I think I had like a, a one of these um, voice lessons I've had. Because I, I don't know if it was just being trained by somebody that was always told me, get louder, get bigger and stuff. Right. And I kind of felt like... As you went higher? Yeah. Like, uh -huh. like give me like a little bit more. But I've, to me, I, I've kind of felt a lot of discomfort mm -hmm. around like my neck area, I feel. I don't know how to fix something like that. Yeah. And if it's just supposed to relax and just let go, like we talked about. It's it. just finding a slightly different, different coordination. Because instead of like pulling a ton of weight up... It's just letting the same amount of weight carry up. So mm -hmm. we were talking earlier about that feeling of hold on that you get when you're, if you don't flip into falsetto. So it's like that. It's just not leaning into it. What I think that Peck Young was doing right there was just leaning into it a lot, like increasing the amount that he was holding on to as he went higher, which is, I mean, if you do that too much, it hurts. Yeah. It hurts. The result is this sound and people love this sound there are some other ways to create those sounds that like yeah. aren't quite as painful though yeah to me it becomes vocally fatiguing yeah like, it gets fatiguing like yes like after I'm, I'm done performing a song i always get this feeling like i feel like i use too much than i needed to because yeah. it causes too much strain i get so vocally exhausted i'm like i'm done for the night <laughs> yeah at the same time though if if you've been dancing for a while and you're losing a ton of breath because you're just wanting to exhale a lot, just <sighs> that kind of feeling. Leaning into it more like he does, does resist more air. Mm -hmm. So if you're like out of breath, it's it's just like yelling when you're out of breath. It's kind of easier to hold on to than a sustained whisper because if you are whispering and you're out of breath, you're gonna lose it so fast. But what he's doing, it does help you kind of hold on to that. So maybe it's just a trick because he's tired. Yeah. See, that's nice. And that's different from what he did before. That's yeah. not nearly yeah. as heavy. I wish that he would pull that feeling down a little bit and approach those middle notes, how he does those super high ones. Finally, I got you. Mm, that's pretty. With that one, he didn't pull up the same way, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, what's the tonal difference between that one and the one before? What what difference in sound do we get? It wasn't as, I personally felt it wasn't as hardly punching as it was. It doesn't sound as, 
mm-hmm. like you were hold, like holding on too like too tight, like you're really leaning it too hard. That's what it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. So if you were gonna try to sing a note the way that he did the second time, what are some things that you might think of as you're trying to sing that way versus the way before? I feel like he kind of relaxed a little bit more coming okay. around this next time around. That's how I would have approached it. Mm-hmm. Um, but the feeling I would get, I feel like I would just get loosened up a little bit. That's yeah, how, that's, rather than yeah. holding on and pressing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just that tension is hard to get through. Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect that voice from him. <laughs> But when they do this harmony, they changed everything. They didn't sing that way for any of their normal stuff, like for their solo stuff. When they sang together, they immediately had to start thinking about how they'd sound with another person and matching vowels. By doing that, I think that those vowels are a lot more sustainable. So it's got to be just a choice, like going right to the edge of where they think they're going to crack. Do you feel like it was one of those things that because they had their solo moments, do you feel like it was like their moment of spotlight to do how Maybe. they wanted to approach something yeah. compared to how they both harmonize in that certain situation. Like I would feel like I have to find a common ground with exactly. The other person. Yeah. I think that that's definitely part of it. The thing is though, all of them went to that same like extreme. They kind of pulled up a little bit rather than letting it go into this more released mix that they were doing right here. Mm -hmm. So I I do think that maybe there's someone saying, no, we want you to sound like this on this part because they're all doing it. And they are versatile enough that they can go back and forth. And I mean, the way that that big one just won't mix with other people. Like if two people are sounding like that, it's gonna start sounding- It's gonna clash a lot. Exactly, exactly. And they're not doing that. So it's, entirely a style choice. I still don't think it's going to be the easiest thing though. (laughs) See that, that's not pulled. That's so easy. They're so good. Yeah, they're they're really good. I mean, what are your overall impressions of that? It's six minutes, they're dancing a lot. There's a lot of vocals, not as much singing as I've heard in some of their other things. There's a lot more rapping in this and movement. So it's kind of different compared to some of the other EXO videos that I've seen before. I personally feel they're one of the best vocal groups I've ever heard in, really? my, in lifetime, uh-huh. like for sure. There's just something about this group that's just, it's just so pleasing to the ear like you know like they have phenomenal rappers i'm not going to discredit them right. and say that they're not amazing rappers but come on, like but like when you just get the like to be living in a in a time that you get people like dio baekhyun and like you know chen it's mm-hmm. just it's such a beauty to have all three like these people oh they're all in the same group you're, right? like yeah. it's just amazing like in like just to get such a you just feel like you got the whole like justice league in your team like this is like phenomenal vocalist in one group and you get it's i i wonder how it feels to be a producer or engineer to have these guys walk yeah. in your studio and let, let's try you can do so much with them because like you said they're very versatile so you have so much to play with it's so good. much fun to work with too and just yeah. as a teacher because i'm sure that they are all in lessons all the time i mean i don't know who specifically with or anything but it's so fun to work with people like this who are able to make adjustments quickly mm-hmm. and that you don't have to completely like start from scratch with because it's that's all that it is with these guys is just little adjustments. They yeah. know what these things feel like and they're proving it because they're going back and forth from extremes. Yeah, of course, so I have a good example. So like, like you said, there was, I felt like when they had their solo mo- moments, I kind of feel like certain parts kind of felt a little stylistic. Sure. Stylistic like what, what kind of things were stylistic about it? Like this, the, the approach, how they attacked it, especially like, you know, I, I can remember like Big Hume's like certain section when mm-hmm. he just came in a little harder than he would, but it just ca- came off a little stylistic. And at the same time, you just saw a different glimpse of him, like kind of yeah. relaxing. So that means he knows what to do in certain parts of moments. So it became a choice to him because he felt like it. You know exactly. I mean? So just as someone who is recording often and stuff, when do you think that it's appropriate to choose like, 
okay, I'm gonna make this sound, but the only way that I can make this sound is by doing it in a really difficult way. It's a way that it kind of hurts. Like, do you think that there's a place for that in um, performing? I think um, whether it's performing or it's recording, like for example, if I was to sing, um, for example, I'm kind of like yeah, speak absolutely. Up on my my experience, like yeah. if I was singing, you know, my song Uno or something, I, that became a stylistic choice to me because it was a pop song mm -hmm. to me. Because I would have sang like, if I was to sing and relax, I'd be like. Baby girl, we got no time. Like compared to like more of like the poppy sound, I would have, which I did approach. It. I was like, baby girl, we got no time. Cool. Hey. So for me, but the difference between those two, there's there's a little bit more like nasal yeah. in that second one, right? Yeah. And the the first one, it was relaxed. It was still forward, but you can use that little nasal sound actually to connect to your high stuff, right? Yeah. So did you mostly use that when you went high? Um, I was. Or was it kind of all throughout? Could you? Yeah. Could you explain it to me? Because because like if I was like to go like um. Cause I need just a little more time, just a little one. Okay, so uh -huh. it sounds more relaxing because I feel I don't know if it's true or not, but sometimes some people maybe some people have like a natural nasalness to. Yeah, yeah, I I think that some people do just have a little bit, but it's something that everyone can kind of add in. It's mm -hmm. like that little French uh, 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 that's in the voice. It's adding a little bit of that, and that's really helpful for connecting the voice. Uh -huh. So, do you feel like you added you added a little bit of that nasality when you went to the high stuff, or just a little bit? It, I think it's a I think it's a choice too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a choice that's actually like influencing things though, and it's making it easier. So when things like that happen, I think it's awesome. Yeah, because <laughs> I I do agree. Like it, when, if you added in all of the instrumentals and stuff to that song rather than having it be that more relaxed mm -hmm. that might be better for an acoustic setting right yeah. because it doesn't cut quite as much yeah yeah it's like i mean i personally feel like there's moments that i just go off how i feel because and I that's feel, all you can do yeah, yeah there you go like and i'm pretty sure that's how knowing that these guys have just been doing it for so many years they just did what felt best for them at exactly. that certain moment because you know this is what they do for a living. They're right. singers, you know what I mean? They, they, we, we as singers, like, I do things because I feel like it's the right, it feels right. If it's the right way sound, to express certain yourself. sound, you know, compared to like, if, like, like I, the example I was giving between the two ways I was singing, the first one, I was like, I tried that way. I tried multiple ways and I was like, I like the second one better because it sounded better, like cutting into the mix better. So right, exactly, yeah. yeah. So it, it does seem just like a choice. I think that, I mean, if I was working with them, I would try to help them make that in a way that didn't feel quite so strained, just because that that's when it becomes unreliable and you're not sure if you're going to be able to make it or not. And yes, you know what it feels like, but then you're like, oh no, it, it might yeah. not be there today, versus the stuff that they were doing right after, back to back, that is so reliable and they know how that feels and how consistent it is. So oh. it, it just kind of confused me a little, but again, it's, it's just a style choice, so that's yeah. what the fans want. And the good thing is, I'm pretty sure they've done this multiple times in their practices. So that means that he's done this multiple times, yeah. knowing that it was gonna, he was gonna land it. It wasn't one of those things like, hey, sing on the spot, figure it out. Exactly, he wasn't improving this at all. No. Like none of this was improvised. So yeah, he's they're they're so well practiced. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Go check out Barcinilla's channel. I'm gonna link to it. Go check out my. Instagram and Patreon and all that jazz. There are links in the description and I really appreciate you for watching it. Thank you again.